Manchester United 4, Liverpool 3. Get in there, my son. We've somehow managed to nick the game right at the death there. <sighs> Bloody hell, what a fucking game of football that was there. I mean, so many times I thought Manchester United had lost this game today. I really did. I mean, from starting the game off pretty well in that first half, going ahead through a Scott McTominay goal. And I thought Thurry deserved to be going ahead in this game and not getting that second goal was a massive blow. Scott McTominay had a great chance to score the second goal and hit it straight at the keeper. That I thought was massive for Manchester United in this game of football. I thought that was a real turning point. Up to about half an hour or so in the game, I thought we'd done well. Mainu was looking good in this game. I was, re I was really pleased with how things were going, but you always knew with how Manchester United have been so bad this season, that Liverpool were going to come back into this game. <clears throat> you knew when Manchester United didn't get that second goal that there was definitely going to be a Liverpool comeback in this game. They were calm about it. I mean, you look in that first half uh, period, it was just so open in midfield and you could just see after about 35 five minutes that Liverpool were, weren't really playing brilliant themselves, but they were, that they, they, they were just getting back into, into the game because Manchester United looked, looked like they'd gone to shit. The confidence maybe had gone, I don't know, and then they, then when they equalised, I mean, that was terrible just before half-time to go 2-1 down just before half-time. I don't know what the tactics were and what we were fucking doing there with Egghead. I just, I just don't know what he was saying to these players, playing out from the back down in the down in the corner flag, getting caught out, and then they're going scoring again. Just, it baffles me what is going on. and. This, this game hasn't changed my opinion, obviously, on on, on, um, on Eric Ten Hag at, at all. Winning a, a sem uh, getting to a semi-final is great for Manchester United, but that doesn't change the shit that we're part with this season. And it did look like he was going in that second half. Peter and now Liverpool were just in control. <clears throat> they hadn't got the third. That was the only good thing for Manchester United. But Manchester United managed to somehow get that late equaliser through Anthony. He made, the, made some changes in that second half. And Anthony managed to get the goal, hasn't done fuck all all season, but a nice goal from Anthony there in that bottom corner. And, and the relief there for Manchester United when, when we went 2-2 was great. So we at least took it to extra time and I thought, well, at least going to extra time then, if we could hold on, we've got at least a penalty shootout. And it's a 50-50 chance in a penalty shootout, so I thought, well, we've got nothing now to look. We, we were going to lose the game with a minute to go, so I thought, well, it's great, we've got a, got a slight chance now. And then obviously that goal in the in the in the first half of, of the extra time, and I thought surely now that we're, we're going out, I really did the deflection on it. I thought too much. He had too much time to, to take the shot and the deflection, and I thought fuck, we're, we're surely out now. I thought how the fuck are we going to get going to get back into this? Rashford's missed missed chances in this in this game to put Manchester United ahead in that in that in that in, in that extra time, and I thought that was it. I mean the one at the end of the game. To make to uh, make it three two, I think was offside. So, uh, but he still missed it anyway. And then he missed that one in the in the in the extra time to make it to make it three two. Then they've gone and made it three two. But somehow he's managed to make amends for that in that in that second half of extra time. I mean, blimey, there's so much to talk about here. I mean, he's he's that next that next bit of extra time was um, where where Rashford come good, got that goal, put it calmly in the corner made amends for the, the misses in this game and then Jesus Christ Ahmad coming up with a scruffy goal and then getting himself fucking sent off while kicking the bollocks there now he won't be available for the next game which is a massive kick in the bollocks for Manchester United but at least he's uh, he's put Manchester United into the hat for the next round I haven't even looked to see who Manchester United get, have got in the next round I don't know when the draw is but to be honest I just don't give a shit Manchester United have got through we're probably not going to go on and win this we're probably getting knocked out by a fucking commentary or whoever the fuck we get in the next round Man City will probably hammer us but at least we've knocked Liverpool out we've stopped Liverpool winning this competition which is great hopefully Klopp will not win another fucking trophy in his managerial career at Liverpool I mean he's got the Europa League so that's a, a great chance for him but we don't want him to win another fucking trophy at, uh, at Liverpool and we've stopped him doing that with the FA Cup which is which is great. I don't want Man City to win this either but we will have to wait and see 
what happens in the remainder of these FA Cup ties, but it is great to get through through this this tie anyway. I mean, it was great to see Ahmad come on because before Ahmad scored that goal, I thought he was fantastic in in that period of extra time, and I've I've been a bit critical of why Eric Ten Hag hasn't been playing Ahmad because I thought that maybe he could offer something better than that of what uh, Amari Forson could offer Manchester United, and there's been reports that. That Ahmad's not happy with the, the fact that he's not getting game time under under Eric Ten Hag, and you can quite see that the reasoning behind that because I think he's got the ability to play for Manchester United. Just whether he can do it on the pitch is another matter for Manchester United. And with all the all the injuries and Sancho's gone, uh, and Palestri's gone, and Cristiano Ronaldo went a year or so ago, there there was not there's an opportunity to be there in the team. And Eric Ten Hag seemed to favour play, playing Forsen in the team and, and then play Bruno Fernandes on the right wing. And, and that was frustrating for me, that was as a Manchester United fan, that seeing that 30 odd million pounds we signed, Ahmed Diallo for was rated as one of the best young attacking wingers, number 10s, false nine, whatever you want to call him, attacking player in Europe. And we just haven't seen that. We've seen a brilliant season on loan at uh, Sunderland. We've just seen none of that at Manchester United and he's been fit for weeks now and he just hasn't had the football and that scruffy goal there, could that change his, could that save his Manchester United career because I'm reading that he really does want to save his Manchester United career big time and obviously he's fallen behind the likes of being injured and being out alone, he's fallen behind uh, other players like Ganacho in the team but he is what it is and he's coming now and injuries do give you an opportunity to get get game time in the team and, he, and he's done that today and he's, he's taken his chance today and that is great to see. I mean, I think there was players struggling at the end. Scott McTominay almost scored the winner there uh, from a Rashford pass, just past the, past the post. I think they were saying that he had cramp but he still burst into the box to, to try and get on the end and, and try and score that winner. Bruno Fernandes looked like he was fucked at the end. Although I know a lot of people are criticising his performance, but I think at the end he was struggling with injury. So and he was basically playing as a fucking centre back just to get Manchester United through the tie. There was a few minutes of extra time after the Ahmad goal, and I was shitting myself because because we had ten men then, and I thought fucking hell, if Liverpool come back into this, then it will go to penalties, and it's any man's game then. But we've got through the tie anyway. Great, great cup tie. And it is what it is for Manchester United. Will this save Eric Ten Hag's job? I don't know. I still think it papers over the cracks of how bad Manchester United have been this season. But I just want to win the FA Cup. I don't give a shit about thinking about whether whether Ten Hag's going or not. I, I still I've still got the opinion that I don't think he's he's the man to turn it around. But I, at this moment, all I care about is winning the FA Cup, trying to get in that Champions League football. And salvaging what has been a dreadful season for Manchester United, because all I care about at the end of the day is Manchester United winning trophies. That's all I care about. I don't care about the players who, who's scoring the goals, who the manager is, whatever. I just want Manchester United to win, to win competitions. And I've been very critical of Anthony. He's come up with the goods today in that massive, important equaliser. And I'm not one of these people that will continue to slate a player and not want them to do well. I still want Anthony to turn it around. I massively do. Like, I want Ten Hag to turn it around. Massively do. Because if they turn it around, Manchester United would be successful. And let's, let's see what happens. But uh, I'm not sure who they've given man of the match to, to today. But I thought Delo was good at, at, right, at, at full-back today. Obviously, Wan-Bissaka coming in as well has helped massively for Manchester United. Because we've had no fullback in that in that uh, left back position for Manchester United, which does does massively help for me in my opinion. Mainu was good as well, so uh, there is a couple there that could have been man in the match for me. It's, it's difficult, really, probably to say. Probably I'll probably give it to Delo to be honest, man of the match. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and if you're watching this on Facebook, please do hit the share button, and I'll talk to you all again soon.